Hi, my name is Jamie Kassip. I'm the Global Education Evangelist at Google. And I, today I want to talk a little bit about the role of technology in education. We've been talking about technology in education for a long time, right? First it was uh, motion pictures and how motion pictures were going to revolutionize education. Then we, talk about, then we talked about television and Sesame Street and how television was going to revolutionize education. And computers, we've been talking about computers in education since the, at least the 1960s. I remember taking a computer class when I was in ninth grade because we thought, you know, I was told that computers were going to be important in, in my future. And so I took a, a computer class and learned how to program in BASIC to make a bird fly across the screen on a Commodore 64. So we've been talking about technology and education for a long time. But what's different this time? Why is it more meaningful this time? And I, and I would propose three things. Number one is all the research and evidence and science that we have about learning and how we know how learning needs to be relevant and engaging and how we know that learning can be, uh, we can build autonomy and we can build student-centric learning and all these ideas and concepts that we have in, in, in the pedagogy of education. Technology can help support and enable those, uh, those concepts, those ideas that we've been trying to implement, that we've been trying to put in our schools uh, for the last 30 years. So that's one. Two is the way in which technology has wrapped itself around the core of our lives. You know, it, you know we are uh, up in the morning using our technology all day long. We don't even think about it. We don't think about, you know, you know where we use technology, how we use technology, and, and it's wrapped itself around, around the core elements of what we do. And, and, and that is relatively new. It wasn't that long ago that we used to have to call the internet with our home phones. It wasn't that long ago that we didn't have smartphones. Um, I was in the car listening to a radio, an old program that was taped back in 1997, and the announcer was talking about how he wanted to take a Polaroid picture of something because that's how we did instant photography you know, in 1995. And today we all have video cameras and, and cameras on, on, our, on our person all the time. So the way, the, which, the way in which technology has been part of our lives, uh, how does that re get reflected in education? And then the third thing is this generation of students. I'm talking about the four-year-olds, the five-year-olds, to, through the 18-year-olds who don't know that the world existed before Google, have no idea that the world existed before smartphones, before laptops, before any, kinds of, any kind of these smart devices. These are the reasons why we need to look at technology and figure out how to take advantage of technology to support and enable great learning in education. We need to take advantage of the fact that students don't know any better. They just assume that technology is part of, of, what, of what they do. Can you imagine what it feels like for a student to walk into a classroom, you know, living in his personal life with technology and then going into a classroom and not using it at all? It probably doesn't make any sense for them. So I think that we want to make sure that technology is there to support and enable great learning. And it's not the silver bullet. It's there to support that uh, great learning. And what we need to make sure that we do is focus on building the skills that teachers need so that they can take advantage of that technology and create the learning models that are student-centric and that will help prepare students for the next economy. Mm -hmm.